Hey guys, Jamie at the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. So today we're going to go ahead and make vegan solid perfume. So what that is, is it is perfume in solid form. Now I am going to show you how to make two different ones. So this one is what it would naturally be colored. And this one is with a bit of mica powder. Either one is fine. I just like a little bit more pizzazz. Um, so I like to add the mica powder to some of them. Now I often get asked if you add the mica powder, is that going to like leave a bunch of color on your skin or anything like that? And it doesn't at all. It does leave a little bit of shimmer so if you don't want the shimmer leave the mica powder out if you want just a wee little bit of shimmer go ahead and put the mica powder in I just kind of like the way the colored one looks a little bit better than I like the one without mica powder now I did put the full recipe for these vegan solid perfumes down in the description box below. I also put a link to my blog. So on my blog, I have a printable recipe. I also go a little bit more in depth about all of the ingredients, why we use them, everything like that. So if you want to hop over to my blog, feel free. The link is down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's dive in and make our solid perfumes. So for this vegan solid perfume, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use candelilla wax. Now this is actually harder than beeswax and it is plant based. That's what's going to make this um, a vegan perfume instead of one with beeswax that would not be vegan. Now, the cool thing about candelilla wax is it actually leaves a really nice gloss top on the finished perfume, and it's going to give this a little bit more of a slip. So when you're putting it on, it feels just a little bit nicer than when you make it with beeswax. Next we have jojoba oil. Now jojoba oil closely resembles the sebum that your skin makes naturally and it is an amazing oil. Now you can swap this out for a different one but I like to use this in this solid perfume because it is a leave-on product so there is value to having a more expensive nicer oil. And lastly I made a blend of essential oils. Now I'm using sweet orange and frankincense but you can use either one essential oil that you like or you can make your own blend however you would like this to smell go ahead and make sure that your candelilla wax is in a heat safe container. To this, we're gonna put our jojoba oil. And then we're gonna pop this in a double boiler. Now for a double boiler, I use a saucepan with some water and a little mat on the bottom just to prevent this container from breaking. And we're gonna put this on the stove until it's completely melted. So when you pull this off the double boiler, you're gonna to wanna to wipe the sides with a paper towel or a washcloth or something just to clear off any water that might be on there. Now to our solid perfume base, what we're gonna do is add our essential oils that we measured out earlier. And we're just gonna give that a good mix. Now go ahead and grab the container that you're gonna put it in. I like these ones because they fit in your purse really easily. And we're just gonna pour that in there. And then for the next one, I'm gonna add just a bit of mica powder. Now you don't have to color this and it's completely fine if you don't. Um, coloring it just makes it a little bit cuter in my opinion and it leaves just a little bit of shimmer on you when you put it on, not like super glittery or something, just a wee little bit of shimmer. And I'll grab another container and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in there. We're just gonna allow these to cool completely And there are your finished solid perfumes. So with the solid perfume, what you want to do is you want to just go ahead, put a little bit on your finger and we're going to put these typically behind like the ear. You're going to put them on your wrist. You might put it right here. You're kind of going to put it on the pulse point and it is just perfume that is in solid form. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed making and using your vegan solid perfume as much as I did. Bye.